Okay, um, let us talk about uh, look uh, the latest results, right? And we're gonna go through everything. We know for a fact that uh, KZN Fry had under 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 the control of MK um, done and dusted. Um, so we also know we also receive a report during because uh, we were tracking everything uh, that national majority is gone probably forever. Uh, that's what the, that's the report that we got. Uh, we now know. I'm going to give you the latest. The latest in terms of e e M K. It has surprised a lot of people. Um, somebody was saying that um, they gave E M K at least five percent in this year's elections, and already we are on twenty something in terms of counting, and already the M K is sitting comfortably uh, somewhere beautiful where. I'm going to tell you, uh, but the MK, they are doing very well. They are doing very well. Um, and what I'm going to be doing when we get probably to 30, 40, uh, we should be able now to see the seats that they have in parliament. But I also want you to look, I also want to keep, to keep you in, I also want you to keep this in mind that the beggle also, we are beggling for 400 seats in parliament. So uh, the one who shall win with majority obviously gets to occupy most of the seats in parliament. So if you have most of the seats in parliament, it means that uh, you can pass laws, even when other people are opposed to such laws, but you can easily pass those laws. How? You can pass those laws by saying let's vote you're obviously going to win so that is what mk party were aiming for to say whatever law that they will propose uh once they decide that we want to pass this law or want to reverse this law um if they decide so mk party will have uh the power to say if you disagree with us so let's go and vote and you know you're not gonna you're gonna you're not gonna win that one so that's mk party for you yeah but unfortunately yeah, so far the picture doesn't look good in terms of getting the two third majority but nevertheless yeah, we shall continue monitor that and i'll give you more or uh, more right now i'm gonna go through this as i read what has been happening in terms of the result uh, but before i give you more concerning that there's also more that i want you to do and it is this if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay uh we also know for a fact that we were told uh upongola for instance uh look upongo not upongola it says mpumalanga province as go is gone uh you will remember that we were told ugoti by Ukwete Mandash that when when look when he when he reacted uh to EMK party winning he and he said um he said that he, he, he look Mpumalanga is not gonna disappoint them. But when we hear that MK is also doing well in Pumalang, they were very de devastated as well. Those are some of the results in Limpompo. Uh, we will get. We'll look. We'll continue to monitor the update. MK Party was doing very well in Limpopo, uh, leading at some point they were leading by forty two point seven percent, followed by ANC twenty one uh, percent. Obviously, it's still early to say uh, a, a lot about that, right? And then um, at about two o'clock, we got an update that twenty percent, uh, twenty percent voting district counted, which about two point one million valid votes votes 
so far ANC nationally they were leading uh, yeah there they were doing well right ANC was number one at about two o'clock ANC was number one followed by DA number two followed by e look, e EFF at number three followed by MK at number four followed by PA Patriotic Alliance at number five I, look, IFP at number six, FF Plus at number seven. They were also doing well uh, at about that time. Then we proceeded because I'm following it as as we go, right? Uh, somebody commented and say, uh, as one of those who grew up in the ANC, I am very sad about what we have become by abandoning us. Our people have done the right thing um, to vote in ANC. And you will be shocked who's saying that, who's saying that. Right, and um, then again later on during the day around three to four, we got this Operation Guaza. Um, Konto is making significant progress through the street of Mpumalanga with MK already securing a substantial number of votes. There, with only 20% of the vote counted, ANC has already lost um, its majority in Mpumalanga. Despite being labeled as a tribalist party, MK is defying the definition by uh, gaining supporters across South Africa. Just six months after its uh, uh, look, uh, inceptions, this remarkable growth can only be attributed to the divine intervention. Our modern day Moses has headed the call, I am sending you to bring my people. His Excellency President Jacob Zuma admired by many, both openly and privately, Guazam Konto, uh, right? And that those are the numbers that we, we got during the day. Um okay. What else did we get? Okay, right now, uh, right now, at about past eight p.m. At about past, look, it's that the date is the third year, the third of May, two thousand and twenty-four. At about past eight today, these are the numbers that we got. It says breaking news: MK Party now leads e e look e e f f with um they are now above e f f. Now you'll remember that I said I was just just trying to paint the picture that during the day MK were performing this, but then uh, uh look as we progress they started to pick up. Um, if you if you notice that I said at, at around about two o'clock they were sitting somewhere at number four, uh, at about eight p.m. they were already number three, right? Removing EFF and now going above EFF. Who who knows? Probably by the time we reach thirty to thirty five percent, they will they would have been above ETA. I really think so, right? That they would have been above ETA as well. And then yes, uh, Prof. Prof. Moya says, breaking news, the MK party, which is ignited uh, people local, the hope among South Africans is now dead on the list with the EFF drilling behind. The PA in fifth position. Meanwhile, Embargo ANC and the Ramaphosa are now trended, local, trending towards uh, below 40% nationally. Uh, but they were still uh, above. I must say that they were, they were still above, right? Uh, that, those are some of the updates that we got today uh probably before i sleep um i will see if there is any significant change but we know that now eff everybody con uh, sorry e e uh, emk party had oh look at the time of of me recording this video they are now trilling or i'm mean, sorry they are now um above e uh, look e, e they are now above e e i e, look e, eff which was un according to a lot of people that they, they, they did not predict that like i said people thought that EMK was going to get around 5% nationally, but they are proving to be a very difficult uh, political party to mess with. They are proving that they are not they are a force to reckon with. So if there is any significant change before I sleep, definitely I will update you on such. Right. Um, yeah. Tell me in the comment section below. I'm very much keen to hear your thought and your opinion. Uh, what are you uh, what are you saying about everything that have just transpired now um you will you will remember that it was predicted that mk party that we, they were just going to get 15% and nothing more right it was said by e efnb group what what i still have their letter i will read them 
for you. Uh, I will read the letter for you because I still have the letter. So tell me in the comment section below. I'm very much keen to hear your thought and your opinion about the new development. Are you happy seeing that Umkonto Wesizu is performing well? A political party that is very much new, uh, look, six months old, but they are already doing wonders. What's your take? I'm interested to, to hear your thoughts.